At the GLBRC, we're in the business of taking lignocellulosic biomass and converting this into some sort of liquid transportation fuel or some other valuable chemicals. And what ultimately led us into the research, it's NM Systems, we're trying to figure out what to do with what we call conversion residue, all of this stuff that is left over after we do the fermentation with the primary fermenting organism. What we found previously is that this conversion residue contains a lot of organic matter um, that isn't consumed by the primary fermenting organism. And because it's such a complex mixture of substrates, we decided we wanted to use a community of microorganisms that could actually utilize the broad range of different substrates that are in there. And what we wanted to do was to produce medium chain fatty acids. To do this, we performed metagenomics. So we extracted whole community DNA, we sequenced this DNA, and then we assembled the DNA reads into contigs, bin these contigs out into draft genomes, or mags as we call them in the paper. We also perform metatranscriptomics, which gave us RNA reads that we could map back to the abundant mags that we recovered from the metagenomes. So what this allowed us to do was to not only know the genomic potential, but to see which of the genes were actively being transcribed. With the actively transcribed genes, we could reconstruct the metabolic networks that occurred within the individual mags and then using thermodynamics on top of the pathway reconstructions, we could assess what conditions might favor medium chain fatty acid production. So the main takeaways from this paper are that we've identified ways in which we can move beyond these self-assembled communities and come up with engineering strategies that would include taking natural um, organisms or engineered microorganisms and establishing these within these MCFA producing communities in order to drive production of more medium chain fatty acids.